So this is the light panel that I am shooting right now. As you can see, it is super bright. It's amazingly bright. And for tabletop videos, it can actually act as a good light source. So let's go on and see how to do it. Hi, this is JCRP and welcome to Media Milan. I spent around 700 rupees to make this LED panels and I will show you how to do this. And if you stick around for long, I will show you a bonus content in this video which will really help you pass on the process. So stick around. Before we could start with anything, it is very important to test all the LEDs. You don't want to have a faulty one after you have finished the soldering. After making sure that the anode is facing up, I started inserting the LEDs. After completing each row, I flipped the board over and started soldering just one leg of the LED, then the second leg. And before I start with the next row, I clip off the LED legs so it's easy for handling. Once done, I got a clean row of LEDs. Now after spending 3 hours, I end up with an entire board of LEDs. I am pleased to see some clean soldering work. I always pay attention to the flat side of the LED to know which leg is the cathode. Now I took 1mm or 38 gauge wire, stripped off the insulation and made some parallel connections. I took my time making this connection to avoid short circuits. Then using a multimeter, I made sure to check my soldering work. I counted the number of LEDs in a row, then I inserted the same number of LEDs on a breadboard to determine the resistor value and the power required. I found out that 100 ohms will be a perfect resistor, so for 12 rows I connected 12 resistors one next to the other and soldered them to the board. I took a female connector pin, broke it after 12 pins using my cutter. Then I soldered the ends of each of my resistor to these pins. To provide power to the board, I used a PCB connector and soldered it to the board. Then I connect the positive end to the resistor and the negative end to a single female pin. To connect the cathode railings of the LED together, I took 12 short pieces of wire, stripped the insulation and connected them in a zigzag pattern. After tinning the wire, it's time to solder them to the board. Make sure to test if all the cathode lines are connected with the multimeter. I connected the anodes to the male pin connector using ribbon cable. The male pins will connect to the female pins. It's time to create a housing for this LED panel. I picked up this plastic box from the nearby store. The board fits perfectly into it and the box comes with a lid that will help for easy transportation. First, I drilled holes on the four corners of the board. I checked the size of the hole with the screw I am going to use. Similarly, I drilled holes on the connecting PCB too. Then using the board as a template, I make some pilot holes into the box. Then I drill them out. I do the same for the connecting PCBs too. It's time to put in the DC power jack. After drilling the hole, I attach it with some hot glue. I wasn't happy with the brightness of the light, so I went back to the breadboard to test if I can eliminate the resistor. And surely, without the resistor, the LEDs were super bright. So I made some modification to the connector PCB. I took another set of female connectors and connected the anode to it. Now I can just remove the male pins from the other connector and connect to the new ones. Now it's time to put everything together. But before I proceed, I check all the connections one last time. Perfect. It works and is really bright. I take the screws along with the spacer and start connecting the PCB to the box. This is a AC to DC power source. It takes an AC line and neutral and gives out 2 plus 12 volts and minus 12 volts. There is also a variable resistor to adjust the output power. This is 12 volt 5 ampere power supply. The LED panel sucks in around 3 amps of current. So after testing it for 15 minutes, the DC jack became too hot. As a result, it melted the hot glue. Time to change the connectors, which can withstand heat. Also, I changed the wires to 2.5 mm thickness. Then I laid some double sided tape as insulation on top of the male pins to avoid touching the LED pins. I had to eventually change the negative wire too as that also couldn't handle the heat. 
time to test and this works perfectly let me switch off the lights to see this if i close the lid on the top it becomes like a gel paper Thanks for sticking around. Now for the bonus content. As you saw, it took a lot of time and patience actually to do the LED light panel, but it was all worth it. Now there is an easier way to make this LED panel, and that's using the LED strips. Now I have used 120 LED per meter uh, strip, and uh, these are pure white LEDs. As you see, they are pretty bright. They're very very bright. And uh, let me just switch it on to explain it to you. Now all the cathodes of these LED strips are connected on one side, and the anodes are connected to the other side. I've just stripped these LEDs uh, from their uh, tape, and uh, using their adhesiveness, uh, which is at the back, I've stuck them to the board. And it's a very neat, pretty simple build, and it quite works really well too. Um, now this uh, strip cost me around uh, 800 rupees, uh, the 5 meter strip, and I still have some left. But then, uh, when you compare the uh, brightness of this strip with the uh, LED uh, bulb, this is definitely a little lesser than the LED uh, bulb. Thank you for watching this video. Please follow me on social media to know about the next project. And until next time, happy learning.